In this video, we're going to see a very nice short proof provided by Peter Jute of an identity in geometric algebra that can be quite useful and also whose proof brings out some very nice ideas that will be useful to students and to prospective teachers of the subject. Peter Jude's channel on YouTube is quite nice, and he deserves definitely more than just his 325 subscribers, so I hope you'll check that out. And I hope that newcomers to Geometric Algebra will consider joining the group on LinkedIn, Pre-University Geometric Algebra. And in that group, we provide materials for newcomers and prospective teachers and also worked out examples of some things that can be done with it on different levels. So, our identity that we want to prove here involves two vectors, A and B, and the unit bivector of the plane that contains those two vectors, or, you know, to, to, be, to express it more properly, the unit bivector that is parallel to both. The third thing that we see here is AI. We know from geometric algebra that if we right multiply any vector, in our case A, by the unit by vector of a plane that, it, that contains it, what we get is a 90 degree rotation of the original vector, or A in this case, in the sense of direction of the unit by vector or the sense of rotation, I should say, of the unit by vector. I'll also take a moment here to mention something that we're going to use later. We know from geometric algebra that, for, the, for example, the wedge product or outer product of any two vectors, I should change that to a W, of any two vectors, U and V, is going to be some scalar multiple, I'll just call it alpha here, of the unit by vector of the plane that is parallel to both of them. We'll use that idea later. In our case, we're asserting that that unit um, or that scalar multiple or that scalar is this. But we're going to use this general idea later. So you might be asking at this point, well, why do we want to do this? We want to do this partly because when we solve a problem in geometric algebra, for example, the ones that are solved in this video, we're going to want to be able to check our solution. And a nice way of doing that many times is through the program GeoGebra. And in order to put our solutions in a form where, Geo where GeoGebra can be used, Many times we need to express a bivector as some scalar multiple of the unit uh, bivector of the plane that contains the two vectors. So this is a useful thing to do. It can also be derived, in fact it was derived in a previous video, that video. It can be derived geometrically. So that, again, for any two vectors u and v, their wedge product would be ui dot v times i. So knowing that, well, okay, you can prove it geometrically, so why, why did Peter Jute go ahead and do an algebraic uh, proof of it? Well, a lot of it has to do with the idea that in geometric algebra, we assert that the different thing, the different entities in geometric algebra, like vectors, bivectors, and such, have a geometric interpretation. So to tie the geometric and the algebra, algebraic parts together, it's good to be able to prove uh, algebraically the things that we deduce from geometric investigations, and we also like to be able to give a geometric demonstration or uh, simulation or whatever of things that we arrive at algebraically. So Peter did a very nice job, as I've mentioned earlier, and his proof 
uh, uses ideas and axioms that will be useful in many types of problems and will also address questions that the students and the teachers might have. And because this video is really directed at high school teachers and students, I've expanded on Peter's proof a bit just to spell out uh, more explicitly some of the different ideas that he uses. Also, I'm going to be linking in the video description a, a nice document written in latex of, of this proof. So let's see what Peter did. We start from the idea that for any two vectors u and v, u wedge v is the bivector part of the geometric product u times v. So in our case, of course, since this definition applies to all pairs of vectors, it applies to ours, so a wedge b is the grade 2 part, or bivector part, of the geometric product AB. Well, how do we get the two factors i into this? After all, we're trying to prove that A wedge B is something that looks like this. So how do we get our two factors i into this? What Peter did is, we started off, is he started off by saying, well, i times i, well, just as in complex numbers, i, the uh, unit bivector, squares to the scalar negative 1. So here we have negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So in this way, we express a, b in terms of something that has two factors i in it. The negative 1 makes all this negative. So our a, b that we had up here is now negative a, b, i, i. And after that, Peter used the associative property of the geometric um, product. He associated b and i here. Now, why did he do that? Well, the reason he did that is this. We've already mentioned that if we have a vector v, and a unit by vector m, then if we multiply, if we write multiply v by the unit vector m, unit by vector rather, we get a 90 degree rotation of v itself. So this vector here would be v times unit vector m. On the other hand, if we left multiply by m, the unit by vector, we get the opposite direction rotation and still 90 degrees. So Vm is the negative, Vm is the negative of Mv. And for that reason, Bi, in our case, is the negative of IB. So our, our BI that we had here, Peter rewrote as negative IB. And what he accomplished by this was that before our two I's were off on the end here, and now he's moved one of them to the middle where we need it in the thing that we're trying to prove. So where do we go from there? Are we making progress? Well, I'd say so, yes. At least we have I is in the right place. So what do we do now? Well, again, Peter made use of the uh, associative property of the product, of the geometric product. He made two uses of it, in fact. First, as we see here, he associated A with the first factor I. And as we showed earlier, AI is a single vector. Now he associated that vector ai with b. So now he has a geometric product of the vector ai with the product or with the vector b. And off on the other side here is our other factor of i. And of course, all of this, we're still talking about the bivector or grade two part of it. Now what he did was he expanded this geometric product of the vector ai with the vector b. 
And of course, that would be AI dot B plus AI wedge B. And of course, we still have our factor I off here at the end. Then what he did was he distributed that factor I over the sum. So now we have AI dot B times I plus AI wedge B times I. Then he used the fact that the bivector or grade two part of a sum, as we have here, is the sum of the grade two parts, or of the sum of the grade two parts, or I should say, the, the grade two part of the sum is the sum of the grade two parts. We'll put it that way. So this thing on, on the, or the first term here is starting to look like what we want to get. But what are we going to do with that thing, which doesn't look promising at all? Well, we'll see here. AI dot B, of course, is a scalar. And being a scalar, we can pull that out of this thing here, of the grade two part. So we just have AI dot B times the grade two part of I well, the grade two part, that's the bivector part. What's the bivector part of a bivector? Well, it's the bivector itself. We could have used that same idea up here to save a little time, but I wanted to, I wanted to use the idea that we can factor out a scalar like this. So anyway, when we're done here, what we have in this first term is we just have ai dot b times i, and again, the grade two part of I, the bivector part of the unit bivector is the unit bivector itself. Great. But what do we do about this thing? Well, we mentioned earlier that the bivector formed, sorry, I'll correct that. Any time that we have the wedge product of two vectors, what we're going to get is some scalar multiple of the unit by vector of the plane that's parallel to those two vectors. So here what I've done, just expanding a bit on Peter's idea, was to say, well, AI wedge B has to be some scalar alpha times I itself being a scalar, we can pull that outside of the brackets here. Now we have the scalar alpha times the product of i with itself. But what is the product of i with itself? Well, that's just negative 1, a scalar. And what's the bivector part of a scalar? It's all 0. So this whole monstrosity here goes away and we're just left with the thing that we were trying to prove, which is that A wedge B is equal to AI dot B times the unit by vector. So I hope this has been helpful. I look forward to your comments. Please look at Peter's channel, and I hope that you'll consider joining the group Pre-University Pre Geometric Algebra on LinkedIn and I'll supply a bunch of um, links to different resources that may be helpful. Thank you for your time.